What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Guns and Stuff. We have Roger here and me. We're going to talk about a few things, getting ready for deer season coming up, and just some new hot things we got. Yeah. So we'll start off. We have some 350 Legends in. Um, these are not the only ones we have, but we're just kind of featuring them because we got a bunch of them. Because they're very popular and yeah. we just got a bunch of them. So they are the Ruger American Ranch. They have 16 inch barrels, um, which is nice because as you can see, they're nice, small, little compact guns. It's a um, little stubby. Yeah. But they're nice. Yes. Impactful. Yeah. So super light, compact. Um, AR style magazine. Yeah. We have them in a distributor exclusive camo with the blue barrel and then the regular flat dark earth I know some people have been asking if they make a different one in a uh, different like if they make it in camo Well, they do and we have and them we have right um, Super awesome. Yeah, we also got a couple that we just pre-mounted with scopes um, Just put some vortexes on there. So got a couple options for you as well um, What else we got Mike? All right, let's move into the actually Let's move into the boar snake while we're at yes, it. Yes, because... So, while we're on the 350 Legend talk, uh, we do have boar snakes for them as well. Um, 35 caliber yeah. rifle, so it's going to be clean your the boar, so you don't have to use a rod if you don't want. It's good to keep in the um, gun case. If you're even going hunting, you can just run it down right, through it real quick before you go out and make good sure it's clean. Mm-hmm. All so, right. While we're on it. We have a bunch of 350 Legend ammo in stock, a bunch of variety too. So before previously we only had two kinds. Now we have the Federal Blue Box, Federal Non-Typical, and the Federal Fusion. So we have a bunch of different variety. So um, in different grains as well. So people know that different ammo shoots out of different guns. Differently. Differently. It's a yeah, lot of difference. It's a lot of difference. But yeah. But. So basically you can. You know, pick a couple, see what shoots best out of your gun. Um, yep. Anywhere yeah. from um, 150 grain to 180 grain. We have 160, 180, 150. So we got all the different. Yep. If you prefer a power point, um, like the um, polymer tip versus a soft point, we have those. So a bunch of different kinds to give you a try. Yep. Um, moving on, we got deer corn in. We do. Deer corn. Um, 40 pound bags. 40 pound bags. Uh, plenty of it. Also have. Apple cracker. Apple cracker. It smells delicious. It smells really good. Uh, this is the apple deer feed. Apple cracker deer feed. And then we also have the apple cracker blocks as well. These are some of the few blocks that I've actually really had success with. Yeah. Where I've had pictures of pictures bucks of and does actually yeah. eating it before. I've actually watched them take an entire corner out after 25 minutes of pictures, picture, picture. I was like, right corner's gone yeah. so they actually really do like it um and it lasts a long time which is awesome because a lot of those blocks you get squirrels and everything right. just in so you get a good range or, it disintegrates the whole thing yeah but this not the case we also got some molasses molasses attracting um you can dump this all over the block too that yes. helps um another thing i've done that works really well get a um hang it from a tree just like that poke a hole in the bottom a small pinhole and it will just drip out very slowly especially in the winter when it gets a little bit colder not when it gets like freezing temperatures because then it will freeze but this it works really, from this time and yeah, it know, starts to get freezing temperatures yeah it's good to go. a really smart idea that way it just drips slowly and you get the constant so you have to go out and keep putting it out it's constantly there yeah so all right last but not least my sicker seducer the sicker rut is coming up um towards the end of september uh because bow season does start the 11th of this month and going on you got the de uh sick of deer rut sick seducer doug wigfield sick seducer the great thing about this comes with a cd so if you're driving down to dorchester pop that in your um cd player listen to it on the way down right, gives a yep gives he gives a great demonstration on how to do the mew and the whistle um this is a great call for that for both of those um because everybody knows these calls really work really Very well, well. Yeah. um i've known a lot of people to call in some stags with these and it's a great one um we do have quite a few in stock at the moment um but everybody knows this is one of the best sicker calls yeah so, for sure definitely come on in um get some some molasses get in, some molasses in a 350 some legend the 350 legend all at once all. yeah Pick up some ammo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We'll see you next week on Thank another you. episode of Guns and Stuff. Stuff.